Hello, Meat Man United Update, a YouTube channel for followers of Red Devils Manchester United. First of all, to be a force for our team. Please press like, press share and most importantly, press follow. So that you will not miss news, updates, news of our club. For this clip we will talk about news issues. The interest of the Manchester United club that in the past days from the media that there is any current let's go follow this clip. Let's look at the news first. David De Gea returns to Man United training after missing out on Cadiz friendly. Manchester United goalkeeper David De Gea could face Real Batiste in tomorrow's friendly after returning to training alongside his teammates. The 32-year-old was part of the travelling squad to Spain this week but was not involved in the 4-2 friendly defeat to Cadiz on Wednesday. This led to fears over a possible injury but the Spaniard was back in training in yesterday's session. He was spotted sharing a joke with Martin Dubravka. Dubravka played the full 90 minutes against Cadiz in midweek, but his performance was far from convincing as he conceded four goals in the process. The Newcastle United loanee made his United debut in the Carabao Cup third round, but there is no guarantee that he will keep his place against Burnley. United return to competitive action on December 21 with a fourth-round tie against the Claret Center here could get the nod over the Slovakian ace. Meanwhile, United are scheduled to face Batiste at the Estadio Benito Vimarine in tomorrow's friendly and Eric Ten Hag will expect a much better display. The Dutchman slammed his players for sleeping in the early part of the Cadiz friendly and hopefully, we will see better intensity from the off tomorrow. None of the eliminated World Cup stars will be involved and there are a number of players, who are potentially fighting for their United careers. Aaron Wan-Bissaka and Donny van der Beek are among notable names that need a strong performance against Batista amid talk of leaving the club. Wan-Bissaka is particularly under huge pressure. United are considering the prospect of signing by a Leverkusen right-back Jeremy Frimpong. Go to next news. Man United working on deal to sign Jan Sommer. Manchester United are interested in signing Borussia Mönchengladbach goalkeeper Jan Sommer on a free transfer next summer, according to ESPN. The Red Devils currently have David De Gea as the undisputed first choice keeper. The Spaniard has started in every Premier League and Europa League game this season. His deputy Martin Dubravka has made a solitary appearance in the Carabao Cup and ESPN now report that the club have no plans of keeping him after his season-long loan. Meanwhile, Summer has been linked with United since the start of the season and it is claimed that the club are planning to hold talks with his representative at the start of 2023. The 33-year-old will be a free agent when his contract expires in June next year. There are already suggestions that he could be a replacement for De Gea next term. The Spaniard is currently in the final year of his £375,000 a week deal but United have the option to keep him for another season. They have yet to exercise the clause. De Gea started the season poorly with goalkeeping errors against Brighton and Hove Albion and Brentford, but he has since produced a number of standout performances. Before the World Cup break, the Spaniard was terrific between the sticks with several outstanding saves, but his ball-playing ability continues to remain a potential weakness. The 32-year-old has made just 18 accurate passes per league game this term with five long balls. In comparison, Summer has completed 45 passes with seven long balls on average. The Swiss has also made 4.7 saves per game compared to De Gea's 2.7. On top of this, he earns less than 10 times of De Gea's weekly wages. He is currently on £36,000 a week. Summer would be a good upgrade on De Gea. United may consider him as a low-cost replacement. The funds saved could be utilised on signing a marquee striker and midfielder. Meanwhile, the club have a big decision to make on Dean Henderson after his lone stint at Nottingham Forest. It remains to be seen whether he will feature in the manager's plans. Go to next news. Man United target Gonzalo Ramos now valued at 80 million euros by Benfica. 
The price of Manchester United target Gonzalo Ramos has shot up to €80 million Euros on the back of his impressive performances for club and country, Calcio Mercato report. The 21-year-old is regarded as one of the best young strikers in European football and his reputation has been greatly enhanced after his stunning World Cup hat-trick for Portugal. Ramos was picked ahead of Cristiano Ronaldo to lead the line against Switzerland on Tuesday night and he produced a complete performance which also included an assist. It is now reported by Calcio Mercato that United, Paris Saint-Germain and Bayern Munich followed the striker last summer but Benfica president Rui Costa resisted a sale. The youngster was valued at around €41 million Euros earlier this season and it is now claimed that the price tag has skyrocketed to €80 million Euros amid his superb displays over the campaign. Ramos stole the headlines in Portugal's 6-1 win over Switzerland in the World Cup round of 16, but he has also been hugely impressive for Benfica in the ongoing season. In just 21 appearances, the striker has 14 goals and 6 assists. Hence, there are no surprises that the big clubs are interested but Benfica may keep hold of him until the summer. The striker currently has a release clause worth €120 million Euros in his current contract and it has been reported that Benfica want to reward him with a fresh long-term deal. In our view, United are unlikely to prize him away in the winter transfer window. Benfica are tough negotiators and will want the best price for their club graduate. They are in a strong position to dictate his future with his contract only expiring in June 2026. The Portuguese side will be eyeing a huge bidding battle in the summer. Go to next news. Man United have advantage over Real Madrid in pursuit of Cody Gakepo. Manchester United have an advantage over Real Madrid in the pursuit of PSV Eindhoven star Cody Gakepo, according to Voetbol international journalist Marco Timmer. The Red Devils were interested in signing the Netherlands international in the summer but had to change their transfer plans after the significant fee spent on Anthony. Gakepa still had the option of moving to the Premier League with Leeds United or Southampton, but he ended up staying with PSV in the hope of securing a bigger club. Speaking to Bernabeu Digital, Timmer has now revealed that the players' entourage have held talks with big European clubs and discussions could resume in the new year. The journalist added that United will be approached alongside the likes of Madrid, Liverpool and Bayern Munich but the Red Devils could have a slight advantage over them. Eric Ten Hag and Gakepo currently share the same agency in Sports Entertainment Group. Timmer believes the Dutch tactician will need a replacement for Cristiano Ronaldo this winter. He said, his entourage has held talks with most of the big European clubs over the last two seasons. They want to know what are the plans that the clubs have with Cody. Last summer, Manchester United wanted him and until the last week of the market Gakepo thought he would play for United. Then Leeds United and Southampton were very serious, but Gakepo wanted to stay at PSV. For the winter market, their representatives will talk after the World Cup with bigger clubs such as Manchester United again, Real Madrid, Liverpool, and Bayern Munich, for example. Manchester United seem to have a slight advantage in my opinion. Coach Eric Ten Hag has the same agency as Gakepo and I think he needs a replacement for Cristiano Ronaldo. Gakepo was expecting to join United during the summer transfer window, but the club could not afford him after spending their remaining budget on landing Anthony from Ajax. They are now planning a fresh winter approach for him. Gakepo reportedly has the desire to play as a striker and that should suit United who are looking to fill the void left by Ronaldo. However, he will come at a premium price. PSV now value their forward at £65 million and United will have to meet their valuation to prize him away in the winter transfer window. If a bidding battle arises, the Red Devils should still have an advantage in the race. Gakepo has publicly confirmed that he would consider United if they return for him in January. And this is a summary of the latest Manchester United news from the media. Friends, what do you think about the past news, please comment and type your opinions. Finally, if friends if you like it, please press like.
press share and press follow. Together to encourage the youngsters the team in seeking information to present to the Red Devils football fans together in the next clip for today, goodbye. Hello.